Hello and welcome to section 4. In the previous section, we learned the ways to fully customize our plots. In this section, we will see how to save the results of our labor. In particular, we will see how to save plots as images and PDF files. Then, we will look at ways to adjust the page size and the resolution of the files. In this first video of the section, we will dive right into exporting our plots in various formats. In this video, we will first look at ways to export in JPEG and TIFF formats, with default options. Then, we will look at ways to export in vector format, for example in PDF. Open Activity 4.1 in RStudio. Run the first 16 lines of code to load all the data and packages we would need. The first thing we need to do is to create an object with the plot we would like to save. We can check if the plot is correct by using the function print with the name of the object. Since gg2plot was created to make our life easier, saving plots is again a piece of cake. We can use the function ggsave specifying the file name with extension and the name of the plot to save. ggplot2 will take care of the image size for us and create the perfect output. We can change the format of the image simply by changing the extension of the file to be saved. Pretty easy, wouldn't you say? There are many cases where we need to specify a particular size of our plots. We can do that by using the option width, height, and units. Units can be in inches, centimeters, like here, and millimeters. OK, so far we've exported bitmap images, which are a collection of colored pixels like your TV screen. The smaller the size of these pixels, the higher the resolution. Vector images are a collection of objects, meaning they can be resized without losing quality. More information can be found in the two links provided in the script. We can just change the extension in the code to create a PDF file. I could reiterate the easiness of the process, but you already know that. Another popular vector format is SVG. Again, to save our plots in this format, we just need to change the extension, and ggplot2 would do the rest. SVG files can be opened in software dedicated to handling vector images, such as Adobe Illustrator, Coral Draw, or their open source alternative, Inkscape, used in this example. Since they are a collection of objects, we can easily modify each element of the plot as we like. In this video, we looked at ways to use the function ggsave to save our plots in values format.